Right, here we go. Go, boys. Come on now. Everything you boys got. He needs a 505. Ooh, the late. Well, the crewman not getting it perfectly. 506. Watch the speed out here in the left. 54.2. That's a six tenths of a kilometer down to Justin Cripps. So he's going to need a perfect run to overtake Cripps in the bottom here. Ran over spectators' hat in the final corner yesterday, which perhaps robbed him of a chance for a silver medal. He's behind Cripps. 13, get some more time. This is the night train that won the world championships on this track in 2009 and won the Olympic gold medal in Vancouver in 2010. No speed though, he's gonna drop a couple spots. Cripps 124.6, Cunningham 123.9 there, two tenths back. He's still in second spot, but there are still three sleds to come. And at the line, he remains in second position in front of Steve Holcomb by seven hundredths of a second in Holcomb's old sled. Justin Cripps has the lead with three to go. Well, we talked about the importance Zero. of the start. Downtime of getting in with cat like two. movements and sitting down. These are brand new guys all working with each other. Cripps' team is his, almost his Olympic team intact. Watch the left side. See, they had a little collision getting in. Well, they had the exact the same start time as Cripps, the but they had almost a half a kilometer down on their Kajanoff. start speed. So that's the entry into the sled. Then down here, curve eight. Look at this. This is where the accidents were. Top three covered by four hundredths of a second. Max Arm takes gold. Alexander Kazianov takes silver. And Oscar Smelbardis takes the bronze. Justin Cripps, Nick Cunningham, and Stephen Holcomb rounding out the top half dozen.